Hello fashion sewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a neckline placket. Here I've got a section of the top part of a bodice. The neckline that I'm using to do this demonstration is a V neckline but it can also be a round neckline, a square neckline or any other shape of neckline. Now what a placket is used for is that you want to be able to get in and out of a fitted or semi-fitted garment. So this allows you to have an opening to the front, in this example, it could be off to the side, but I'm using the front, so that you can get your head in and out of the garment and also this area is also finished off by using a placket. Your placket shape will look something similar to this, rectangular in shape. They can be different widths and also different lengths. It really is dependent on your sewing project. I've got two here because you need one to lap over the other in order to create the opening. And also it is self-faced, so that means there's no seam, but you can have a seam. And one side also has fusible interfacing. Before I insert the placket, the next steps I need to do to get to this stage is to sew the shoulders and then apply the neckline facing so that we can have this neat, clean edge. The next stage is to make sure that you have a neat edge to your placket. So you need to sew a straight line, roughly uh, five to six millimeters from the raw edge and then press turn it to the right side and press that open on both plackets. Now that I've sewn the top edge of the placket, so the raw edges are now inside, it'll be a case of putting one placket on top of the other. Now we're going to have a one centimetre, five eighths of an inch seam allowance. And then we're going to sew across the bottom to keep them in place. Got your placket in position, flat down. You're going to get the garment and put it over so the right side of the garment is placing your surface, and then you're going to match up your notches and you're going to place it inside, matching up the raw edge, and also getting your facing and cover the top part of the placket and place a pin and matching up your markings place a pin and going all the way down to the bottom where I've created that little slit to make it more manageable for me to pin into position and also so. So I'm just going to put a pin at that point. And then I'm going to turn the bottom of the placket like so. So you've got a nice straight edge there matching up the edges. Place one pin in the center and then I'm going to do the same on the other side, it can be a bit tricky. I just work my put my work towards me, and then I'm going to put another pin here to hold that in place to keep it steady as I work my way up the other side of the placket. So find my placket. There it is. Pin in place. Remember to match up your markings. Again. Pin in place. And then make sure you've got it trapped in there. Your facing comes over, trapping it, and then place a pin. This is what it will look like once you've pinned it into position pinned all the way around and if I just show you once I get to the sewing machine working with the placket face down 
and you just gather at your work and I'll be sewing machine stitching all the way around the edge. Now remember that I do have my placket facing down onto my machine so I'm working on the wrong side of the garment. Now you can if you wish baste it into position which I would recommend. Pull your pins out as you go. The tricky area is when you're going to come to this corner. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to make sure that my placket isn't caught. This is the one I'm talking about. Put my foot back down so I'm happy. You can also feel to make sure because that can happen. And when you're coming down to this area here you want to be using a smaller stitch because you don't have much of the fabric in which to sew onto so do make sure you use a smaller stitch when it comes to the corner and use a hand wheel if you more so that I'm at the corner now and if you need to keep it as flat as possible and then just manoeuvre the top part to make sure it is as flat as you can get it and if it means using your hand wheel then do so one more and I'm ready to keep my needle down my foot up then pivot my work so that I can do the little short seam allowance at the bottom put my foot down again move my needle and continue sewing now I've finished sewing the placket, that's the wrong side and that just needs to be finished off, neatened the edges and this is what it looks like on the right side. I just need to press around the corners to make sure they're nice and crisp and I haven't got any plucking that's happening there and if there is you may have to go back to your machine and undo that but that's your placket opening which means now you can get your head in and out of the garment. Now that is how you sew a placket to a neckline. Remember it can be any shape neckline. Just remember that if you're doing a facing to that neckline, you sew the shoulders first and then sew the neckline and then insert your placket. And don't forget about those niddly corners as well. They can look a little bit, um, what's the word, a little bit gathered, but make sure that when you get to that stage that there's no ridges in that stage and they will be able to be pressed out. If there is, then you need to go back to your sewing machine, just do a little bit of unpicking and do another row of stitching just to make sure you get those nice crisp angles. Now don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below and I will see you next time.